Focus on eliminating your shame. I get messages from people, emails, whatever, and other than being able to sense things about you, I can tell by the words that you use where you are on the scale of duality versus unity consciousness. I can tell by the words you use like good and bad that you're still shame based and you're still in separation consciousness. Shame is the feeling that there is something basically wrong with you. The feeling of guilt is about doing something wrong, whereas shame is about being wrong at the core. The feeling of shame comes from the belief that, I am basically flawed, inadequate, wrong, bad, unimportant, undeserving or not good enough. HuffPost Ivo, and I have said in prior video messages that you are dancing to others' tunes. You have been programmed, I believe is your go-to word for this, by others to behave as they wish you to behave. You will find that as you enact feelings of shame and guilt, you will realize that old messages are behind these, and these may be messages from exes or your original caregivers, perhaps your parents. They needed you to absorb their shame and guilt so that they could continue to see themselves as faultless and perfect. Somebody had to enact their mindset because life is a mirror, and you learn to mirror the way they felt about themselves and this is why you continue to enrage your parents. Children mimic their parents and they are always learning how to push their parents' buttons because they need you to respond to them. Initially, children see themselves as part of their parents. They have not realized individuality at this point in time, and the fact that they are telepathic is part of this. This is unity consciousness. You are born into it. Eventually children learn separation consciousness because the parents treat them differently than they do themselves. In your world, separation consciousness can be experienced as either predominantly negative or predominantly positive, depending on the parent's reaction to the child. If the parent were to be as positive toward the child as they are towards themselves, the child would learn unity consciousness more quickly. However, there is still the rest of the world out there that the child can learn separation from. Me, yes. I went the negative route. I learned that I was bad. And this is one of the words that always tips me off that someone is in separation consciousness, the word bad. It's a shame-based word because there is no such thing as bad, there only is. People don't understand what makes something bad is their reaction to it. I think they talk about this in Zen. Remove the eye from everything you see around you and just experience it rather than judging it as bad or good. I learned to compensate by seeing myself as a good girl. This was an ego compensation. Ivo, yes. And as for the person who feels flawed, then a good look at oneself must be undertaken. If you feel that others are more worthy than you, if you feel like you are less than the rest, if you feel broken, inadequate, undeserving, unimportant, any of these mentioned above, then you must search within yourself to find the offending beliefs and to rid yourself of them. Also, be careful to understand secondary gain with these. What secondary gain is comprised of is a benefit for believing something about yourself. If you feel unimportant, then you are supporting that feeling about yourself because it works for you in some way. Perhaps by feeling unimportant, you support a lack of responsibility in some way. Perhaps your friends are all talking about the current election issues, and in feeling unimportant with nothing important to say, this gives you a reason to stay out of what you feel is an argument. You may see that some are dominating the conversation, not giving others airtime, or squelching others' opinions through bullying or other acts of oppression, and you do not wish to engage in these types of conversations. That is fine. But understand that you are making a choice, and rather than calling yourself unimportant or irresponsible, empower yourself through the making of this choice. Understand that you choose not to be part of this argument, rather than subjecting yourself to dominating friends and argument of opinions. That has nothing to do with unimportant. Perhaps there are ways you express your opinion that you search out that are in fact, healthy ways to opine rather than the unhealthy scenario your friends have concocted here. Or you simply prefer to keep your opinion to yourself. This does not make you unimportant. It indicates self-trust. Me, that's a good point, Ivo. 
people call themselves things that are unenhancing, but instead their true motivation is really that of empowerment. In the power over others system you may have learned to see yourself as a have or a have not so you assume in keeping your own counsel and not engaging in arguments of dominating and subordination that makes you a have not. No, it actually makes you smart. And empowered. Ivo, people who are of higher consciousness who are born onto this earth can struggle with trying to understand who they are through duality. Especially when parenting is wholly inadequate. The life model that you are born with becomes skewed as you attempt to understand yourself through the toxic model of duality that is foisted upon yourself. Of course, your parents will help you, if you wish to call it that. They will show you where your behavior does not fit their toxic model. Me, yes, I was very confused. I tried to just stay out of all of it, to keep my head low. But then I started working and interacting with people who were very prejudiced against women, and got a lot more to deal with there as well. Ivo, had you been able to understand that you were different? And there is a saying that all people are created equal that must be tossed out of your minds. All people are not created equal. They all have equal rights but there are people on your planet of far greater conscience than others. Some are evil, and some are of divine consciousness. So there is no equality. However, all should have equal rights. At the moment the evil dictators are being removed from your world, and this will level the playing field somewhat. But there are still psychopaths and other evil types afoot so beware that all people are not created equal. When attempting to understand yourself in duality when you are coming from a strong unity mindset, you will have many problems. These are problems of identity and many light workers ask the question, who am I, because their original life model was suppressed and the new life model of duality superimposed when you were young. Me, maybe another example, please Ivo. Ivo, I will be brief as you wish to have lunch, my love. And you wish to do more channelings as well. Me, some things just have to hit the wires. Ivo, yes, there are those who call themselves stupid. You reprimand yourselves, saying, you were so stupid or you felt so stupid. Understand that for the being of unity mindset to have to relearn a life model that is foreign to them can lead you to times of great confusion. This adapted life model will require that you call yourself stupid because you are taking on the role of the have not in your oppressive system. It is an assumption many young light workers make, that you must be lacking, because you are learning this new unfamiliar system. Understand that you have gone backwards. Most go from duality and grow their soul through duality to unity consciousness. You are of unity consciousness and are reversing your path, so you will be confused and eventually may well develop a complex, or have identify issues, because you are attempting to go from a Maserati to a Volkswagen Beetle. You are going from a beautiful star to a speck of sand. You have gone backwards. In prior lives you have attempted to understand duality and have incarnated into worlds where you would have some practice, however, adjusting to life on what conceivably could be hell was difficult for many of you. Those highest in consciousness also took on the lowest of frequency lives here so that simply exacerbates your dilemma. Some of you adapt by taking on ego roles of the have and become arrogant, narcissistic, and high-handed. This is simply a compensation, no more or less honest than the one who feels they are a have not. You are all incorrect, however it is difficult to adapt from a reality of divine truth and love, to a reality of an evil lie. Yet you have done it. You are here. And you are growing away from the lie and embracing your truth again, to your credit. Follow us, as we help you to open your eyes. Our channelings are unique to the light community as we have a perspective not expanded upon by many. Me, yes. I see all sorts of love and light, and I guess they're helpful to many, but not so much explaining of what we were before we incarnated here and how to navigate this potential hell. How to stop seeing it as something you hate, and to start seeing it as something to love, that really needs you now. And to not resent needing to do the work, but embracing the work because you're here to express your God self. Ivo, correct, my love. Me, thank you Ivo.
I like this one. I like all of our channelings and one day I'll compile a book with every word you said because our videos are only getting 10 months worth on YouTube. The old ones are dropping off and they're just as necessary as the new work. For some people even more so. So offering a compilation book might be a good idea. Ivo, yes. The information will become relevant to more and more as Earth ascends. Me, thanks, Ivo. Ivo, you are most welcome, my precious love.